Happy PlayStation 5 launch day to everyone. I know some of you guys are still waiting to get your console in the mail. Some of you guys might be waiting until stock gets back up, but the PlayStation 5 is officially out today. So pretty monumental moment for anyone that is a PlayStation fan, has a PlayStation 4. And hopefully this next generation brings with it a lot of great games. But to talk about some other notes, Sony's purchase of a very big studio might be happening relatively soon. Bluepoint Studios, of course, put out the major PlayStation 5 launch title. And prior to doing the Demon Souls remake, their last game was a Shadow of the Colossus, the remake of that on the PlayStation 4. That came out back in 2017. So at this point, they're becoming a solid second party studio for Sony. But it looks like Sony might be looking to phase them in as a first party studio we'll talk that and we'll also talk about the incredible sales numbers of Ghost of Tsushima for a new IP. That game has done incredibly well from a commercial standpoint. So, according to a new rumor from user Marspin Rumpman on the Reset Era forum, Sony and Bluepoint Games are finalizing a deal now, and the purchase will likely be announced soon for the acquisition of a Bluepoint, and that would be a major acquisition. We've heard that Bluepoint is looking to create their own original IP on top of doing remakes, but I feel like they really facilitated for themselves a good market in the sense that their remakes are heralded as some of the best games on the market. SOTC, that remake was incredible. Demon Souls remake from all accounts looks to be very, very good. And prior to that, they did a lot of remasters like the Gravity Rush remaster as well. So they've done a lot of great titles. Honestly, if I could be selfish for a second, I would love to see Bluepoint just do remake after remake of iconic games. I know from the, their standpoint, from a creative standpoint, they probably are of the mindset, hey, at some point we do want to create our own original IP. But man, from my own selfish standpoint, just thinking about Bluepoint games developing some of the remakes of some of the more iconic PlayStation titles, like just to go over a couple of them that Bluepoint could do. Ground up remakes for a game like Infamous 1, holy hell, I would be all over that. Going back even further, farther than that what about a ground-up remake for a game like the legend of dragoon that would be a little bit difficult but hey that's something i think that would be really really cool a ground-up remake of more niche titles like a folklore i would love to see that there's just so many games that i would love to see the get the blue point treatment and brought up for the playstation 5 in the future and then I think having a studio that just, you know, creates these remakes of these iconic games, I think that would be really cool. Maybe not something that Bluepoint wants to be known for in the long term. I could understand as a video game studio and developers, you would want to ultimately create your own experience that is exclusive to you, that you made from the ground up, and that is exclusive to you, and that you can be really proud of. Hell, if I'm Bluepoint, I would be incredibly proud of the SOTC remake. I would be incredibly proud of the fact that they brought forth the system-selling PlayStation five title in demon souls and that was the exclusive that really stood out to a lot of people but yeah from a selfish standpoint i would just love to see their work on some of the other iconic playstation titles infamous one kill zone 2 folklore as i mentioned going back to the playstation one days in legend of dragoon or something like that playstation 2 games of course as well there's just so much good that i think bluepoint could do with the bevy of games sony has in their vault catalog of titles even if they remade a game like Uncharted 1 or Uncharted 2. Could you imagine Uncharted 2? Probably the, fir uh, the first best or second best Uncharted game being remade again by Bluepoint. I mean, Uncharted 2 came out in 2009, the same year as Demon's Souls Remake, so I don't think that's all too far-fetched. Although, didn't Bluepoint work on the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection? So it'd be a little bit strange if they went back and did an Uncharted 2 remake as well. But let's be real, who wouldn't buy that? I know I would buy that. If you give me Uncharted 2 as a remake by Bluepoint, put it on the PlayStation 5, get it up to speed, have the multiplayer in there as well. Oh my god, take my $70 right now. I would be all over that. But at this point, I think Bluepoint has also built up an incredible amount of goodwill with the consumer that if they decide to do a brand new IP, everybody's going to give them the benefit of the doubt based on the excellent work that they did on the remakes that they've done. Shadow of the Colossus remake was incredible. Demon's Souls, by all accounts, looks incredible. And uh, yeah, if they did a new IP, I would be excited for it. But I, again, from a selfish standpoint, I would be of the mindset, hey, remake all those games. If you guys want to see any game get the blue point treatment let me know in the comment section down below what games would you like to see being uplifted from a visual standpoint get that blue point treatment like demon souls got like shadow of the Colossus got because i think there's a lot of options try to keep it to playstation first party releases because 
you know, Bluepoint getting the rights to third-party titles if they are a first-party studio by Sony would be a little bit difficult, but a very interesting question to ask. Okay, moving on from that, also want to note this quickly. Ghost of Tsushima has sold over 5 million copies, launched on the PlayStation 4 back on July 17. Total sales for publisher Sony Interactive Entertainment and developer Sucker Punch Productions open-world samurai title and Ghost of Tsushima has surpassed 5 million units according to a New York Times story on the launch of PS5, noting... Sony attributes much of its success over the last console generation to the popularity of its exclusive game franchise, including stalwarts like God of War, more than 51 million copies sold, that's across all God of War titles, and newcomers like Ghost of Tsushima, with more than 5 million copies sold since its debut in July, the article reads. 5 million for a brand new IP like Ghost of Tsushima, it shows how well this game resonated from a mainstream standpoint. If you're selling north of a million copies that's already showcasing that you are breaking in into that mainstream uh, spectrum so to speak but once you get to the two million three million and five million realm especially given the fact that this game just released four months ago, you know that you delivered a high quality experience that really resonated with not only the ardent PlayStation fan, but also for a more casual consumer when you're selling that many copies. I personally think Ghost of Tsushima is among the elite echelon of PlayStation exclusives. I put it up there with a God of War. I put it up there with an Uncharted 4. Literally the best PlayStation 4 exclusives that have been released. And for me, I put a game like Marvel Spider-Man, even though I enjoyed that game to a great extent, I put that uh, easily in the second tier. Like, top tier, you're talking Ghost of Tsushima, you're talking God of War, you're talking Bloodborne games at that elite level. Then at that second tier, I put, like, Spider-Man and games that aren't quite at that absolute elite level echelon, at least in my opinion. Obviously, everybody's opinion is going to vary from game to game, but I thought Ghost of Tsushima was absolutely incredible, and it even exceeded my expectations for the game. I had high expectations, and I thought Sucker Punch was going to deliver something of immense quality, but what they were able to bring with Ghost of Tsushima, with the attention to detail, with the level of content that they have, and the fact that, hell, I'm going back and I'm playing this game again on the PlayStation 5 at 60 frames per second. I think this game is going to be incredible on on that platform and with all of the updates they've rolled out the cooperative mode and uh just generally speaking how much content there is in the game i have yet to get the platinum trophy in ghost of tsushima and i really need to get around to doing that because this is a game that deserves all the attention and all the praise in the world because it was an incredible game hopefully it continues to sell really well hopefully we get a follow-up title because i think there's a lot of room uh to explore Jin's story after you finish the first game and there's a lot of things that they can do and a lot of areas they could explore with the uh, story of Jin. I'm not going to go into spoilers since I know some of you guys have yet to play it, but yeah, I think there's a lot of potential for a Ghost of Tsushima 2, and I wouldn't have originally wanted that prior to the release of this game just because I want Sucker Punch to go back to Infamous, but after playing Ghost, I'm like, okay, yeah, go ahead and do a sequel for this game because it was so good. But that's going to conclude this video again. Sony's looking to purchase Bluepoint Games. Let's see if that'll come to fruition, and Ghost of Tsushima has surpassed 5 million copies sold, an incredible feat for a new IP like that. That's going to wrap up this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.